Hey guys, welcome back to career mode in EA UFC. Alright, so we won our first fight um, going into the Ultimate Fighter TV show, the fight to get into the house. And the next stage is um, finding out whose team we're going to be on, either Joe St. Pierre's team or uh, Robbie Lawler's team. That's his, that's the name. Okay, let's see whose team we're on. Okay, this is them picking. It's normally that the, the, the first picked fighters are normally the people that they think are going to be the best. And I haven't been picked yet. Uh, six. Let's hope I'm not last. I wonder if it's scripted for you to be last to kind of like be the underdog and prove yourself. I mean, I won in the first round by submission. You'd think I'd be picked by now. Hey, 11. I wasn't last. Probably because I got no, no record. No wins, losses, draws, anything. Oh, uh, poor Nicholas. He got lost. 11. That's not great, is it? I like it. It's supposed to be actually, for them to pick you first, you'd have to do like maybe a longer fight and show more skills. If you win by knockout straight away, they don't even know if you're any good because it could have just been a lucky win. Let's hope I get an easy fight. <laughs> okay, straight to the preliminary matchup. See who I'm fighting. Is this who I'm fighting against? Message from coach. I'm on Lawler's team then, yeah? So here's your next opponent she chose for you. Okay, his style is Jiu Jitsu. Still haven't picked a style yet. You'd think that I would have picked like a start and starts. Work on your footwork. Our goal for today is to slip strikes. I need you to control the range and find your distance. Stay just outside of his. Okay, so you can, you can avoid strikes. I'm, I don't really like using this in the game because um, I'm just going into them. <laughs> I don't find them that effective. You know, it's hard to strike afterwards because of the buttons that you use to do it. You hold an L2, which is also the body attack button. I find if you want to do a head strike, it's hard to like flick it, then let go of the button, then figure out what head strike you want to do. It's easier just to have a block or parry. Maybe there's a big payoff for counter in this way. Uh, from what I've experienced, there isn't much of one. Because I played a handful of matches, tie pads next, handful of matches on um, sync this exhibition mode, you know. So we're doing front kicks and roundhouses. Is it going to tell me which buttons to press? I think it probably is, yep. Oh. That's it. Keep pushing. So there's ten of these I need to do. Ten, um... Routines. I don't know what these points are for as well, like these black belt awards, because they're not giving me anything. Belt achieved. That just tells you you've got a good score, I think. Alright, ground game again. Okay, so I'm defending submissions. So I got out of that one. Easy as that. Black belt again. Ah, okay. So I'm in points for my movement type ads and submission. Are they points I need to spend? What do those points mean? Okay, pages and attributes. This is it. Okay, this screen allows you to spend evolution points on attributes and, and moves. You can earn these points after each match and training session. So you also earn points for fights as well as training. The amount of evolution points you have available will be displayed in the upper right corner. Cost to upgrade an attribute is based on how close you are to the maximum allowable value. So the price, the cost of them goes up, the higher you get. The cost will be displayed to the right of the attribute description, and if you have sufficient evolution points, you may move the bar to the right to purchase it. Once you have made your selections, you may back out of the screen to apply the changes. These updates will then be present for all upcoming fights and training sessions. Coolio. Okay, so everything's like 50-ish. Also, I think, see the way the maximum on someone is like 85, and it's like different for each one, 80, 100. Um, that's based on my weight class, I believe. So if you've got, you know, you're not going to have a, a lightweight whose punch power could be 100, when a heavyweight can also be 100. You know, heavyweights are going to be stronger. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a few points in like defensive stuff as well as clinch control is not that important. I want to go all around. 
I want to get punch speed up as well, so I can get in and out with jabs. I like quite in front, like leg kicks. Um, oh god. What if I put most points in? Take some points out of something, maybe. Actually, clinch can stay kind of near 50 for now. Submission stuff. Body health, leg health, stamina. Stamina is really important. Got one point left. One point left. I'm probably. Uh, uh, I'm trying to think of what I don't want to spend a lot of points in. Chin health's good as well. I'm not too bothered about submissions if I can do ground and pound. All right, that's enough. That's only got one point left. So actually, what's this? Can your page just moves. Yeah, you can. Okay. I don't have any more points though to spend. So we'll look into that next time we come back to after training. That's when Will Pages moves. For now, we'll just stick with the default attacks. Also, I think one of the first things is going to change is that right leg kick because I don't like that um, shove to the knee. Okay, so we're going to our next match. Probably going to end up submitting them again because I don't think we've got much power to finish fights and I don't really want to be going the distance. I mean, it's, it's always easier starting off the career modes with submissions because it's based off of like the player's skill more than your stats. Whereas striking relies heavily on your stats, your power, you know. I've got a jersey this time. I look scared. <laughs> this guy doesn't look too tough. Why have I got no record? You think you would have started the career mode before the Ultimate Fighter, you know? This makes sense how I've been invited. Right, guys, this fight is two five minute rounds. If at the end of the second round the judges declare it a draw, we go to sudden victory. The winner of that round wins the fight. Good luck. Okay, Dana. Let's do this. Are you ready to fight? Are you ready to fight? Yes, sir. Da, da, da. Let's do this. Oh, missed. Missed my first attack. Jab. Okay. I think I've done a bit of damage there to his head. They've got the, the down quite well though, I think, the, the look of the, um, you know, the studio, which um, where they record the Ultimate Fighter. Let's take him down. Oh dear. Pressed on direction to defend that. Let's get up. Reset. Try and get to the mount next time, probably. Get more success from there. It's probably better to go head hunting to start with, because you want to try and finish the guy as quick as you can. I don't really want to go on the long game. Going for body strikes a lot, even though I just threw a body strike. <laughs> Alright, take him down again. No. Oh god, stop doing that to me! I don't have a whole lot of um, movements I can do. I might have to stay on the, on the feet against this guy because he's got quite a good. Look. I can't defend against these attacks. Is he going for a submission? Yeah, he is. Yes, I'm on top. Okay. Oh, I don't want this position. I want to try and get the mount. There we go. 
I can defend these quite well, easy because the direction is often the same side. Let's get back over there. You really gotta keep your stamina up, haven't you, to defend against these transitions? Can't even see. You serious? <laughs> Let's get up. Oh, I was gonna try and get up then, but you started that transition on me. I think five foot eight is quite short for this division. It's like. That guy's like quite a bit taller than me. Oh, my strikes are so slow. He's just walking away while I'm swinging at him. Oh. <laughs> you hit my leg. I'm going to try and go for submission, I think. Oh, I've hit him. I've got him. Whip him. Nope. Uh. Let's break this up. I think the time is on real clock as well. It's not accelerated. I don't know why. Maybe that's just the way career mode is. I'll see if I can change it when I get to the like, proper menu screens in career mode because it hasn't fully started yet. I'm still in the starting stages. Let's take him down. All right, let's get mount. Let's get mount again. <laughs> I'm just gonna hold my position this time and let him drain the stamina. Keep mount, and then try and do sub submission. I can't do submission from mount, I don't think. So I know I can do from one from here. Ah, this guy. Can I do that? I can do that as well, look. Yeah. <laughs> okay, turn him up. I've been caught as well, which isn't good for a knockout um, competition. That only lasts over a few weeks. Oh, he's, hit, he's rocked me there. Normally the commentators kind of let you know when you've been rocked. I put my pad vibrated then and I just checked up. And I noticed my head was flashing. These are normally two rounds and if it's a draw, after two rounds it goes to a third. Whoa, my eyes prop a bloodshot there. Guy looks tired. So we can knock him down. Because to do well with submissions, you need to get submissions from every position. Because you can't always guarantee the guy's going to be low on stamina in the same position. You really can't swing for defences at this point in the game as well because, you know, the stamina is just so low. Ah, he's getting me with leg kicks, isn't he? Defended it. Yeah, boy. Oh, he's down. Let's let him back up. Because I'm not going to do much on the ground. I haven't got as much control as I'd like. Should have earned me quite a few points with that knockdown. Damage dealt. Ow, he stunned me. Let's take him down. Let's so try and recover a bit. So not, don't want to be getting knocked down on our box. I haven't got much of any stamina to. Normally, when you're rocked as well, you can't regenerate stamina. 
which is what just happened. Let's posture up, try and rain down a few strikes. I've got quite a bit of stamina there, so let's just keep throwing these right hooks on his face. Oh, we got him. Nice. That was quite easy to actually keep him down then. I think I only defended like two transitions on the mount. The rest of the time I was actually interrupting his transition attempts with strikes, it looked like. Took some damage though, didn't I? Yeah, throw them heavy hooks. <laughs> so we got one submission win, one knockout win. I think that's classed as a TKO because it's on the ground. Even though he looks like he is actually out cold. But normally in this game, when you knock someone out on the ground, they class it as a TKO. I don't know why. I suppose it's easier in programming, you know, for the commentators to announce what's happened. Yeah, you just said TKO. So we're moving on to the quarterfinal. So what's that? Quarter, semi. Yeah, there's three more fights till you actually finish the Ultimate Fighter. <laughs> I think we might be moving up the ranks in the judges' eye, in the coaches' eyes. See, everyone else won by TKO and knockout as well, apart from one fight on the right there. Decision. Oh, it's a round three. I oh, saw so it is three rounds. I thought there'd only be two rounds. Unless they were all. like draws. They all got knockouts in the third round. That's crazy. Their damage must be worse than mine. <laughs> Right, let's get back to the gym. Alright, I'm going to end this part here, guys. So, so we can start the next part with a fight straight away in the quarterfinals. So thanks for watching, guys. See you later.